Hi everyone, I'm Janet Robin, and today I'm going to show you some cool alternate tunings that you can use on acoustic guitar. Of course, you can use them on electric guitar as well, um, but a lot of these sound especially cool on acoustic guitar. The first one I'm going to talk to you about is this drop D. Um, it's one of the simplest ones because literally all you're doing is dropping the low E down to D, okay? I've already tuned it. And even if you don't have a tuner, you can tune it to your D string, right? So here's the E, that's standard tuning, right? And if you're just in a, like a party situation or even if you're, you know, writing and you want to experiment with an alternate tuning, you don't want to deal with a tuner or whatever, you just drop it down and use your guide. Hopefully your other strings, all of your strings are in tune. Now, of course, that is now going to change, you know, this string and your chords, you can't play. You can play some of these same chords, but they're not gonna sound like, for instance, this is a G, but it's no longer really a G because you've dropped it down to D. So now this is D, right? D sharp. Right, E and F. So it's actually now an F. That would be now a G, right? But not totally a G because you know you're playing these strings here and these have not been tuned down. So it does make open chords a little tricky. You have to kind of open your mind um, and not completely depend on playing your regular open chords or at least the shapes that you're used to. Um, some people might think that's a little frightening. I, I think it's cool because it just sort of gives you a bunch of new colors and options to choose from. And you just have to get away from feeling like, oh, I must play this shape and so forth. You can literally make up your own shapes. That said, in open, in, in a drop D tuning, of course your D chord is gonna work great. So whether you're playing this D, D minor, it's gonna sound very cool. Or this D. Right? You've got that low D there. So there's a lot of things you can do, even just if you wanna experiment first, not with the goal of necessarily writing a song, but just, just experimenting with an open, uh, sorry, with a drop D tuning. Start with your open D chord. And you can just do like a. You know, a shape like that. And, and all I'm doing is I'm taking the sixth string and second string and moving it up. to another chord, say an A minor, you can still play these chords. Just realize that, you know, you have an open D now, not just the E. So, so if you're going to move from like A minor to C, it might be a wise choice to then end back on the D chord. When you do these alternate tunings, you do want to take kind of in consideration what the tunings are. In this case, it's just one string that's been tuned down to a D. Um, so I, I, I may want to, in fact, write something around a D chord or end on the D chord. You don't have to, but it's, it's a starting point, I think, if you're trying to experiment with alternate tunings. OK, now we're going to go with another tuning now. Um, drop D still here. Now we're going to drop down this A, A string down to a G. 
Again, you could do it with, without a tuner. Of course, having a tuner would make it accurate, more accurate. So now you've got this still at drop D. This is now tuned down to a G. That's still a D, G. We're keeping this at B. And now we're gonna drop this high E string down to D. Okay, don't be afraid to tune down and tune up. Sure, have I broken strings? Of course. If you break a string when you're tuning on the way back up, it's just telling you you need to change strings. You know, your strings are old. Also, when you tune back up, don't like wind it really fast. It's gonna like freak out the guitar. Just wind slowly. You'll have, you know, less of a chance of breaking a string that way. Okay, let's go over the tuning again for this. Drop D, drop G. That stays at D, the fourth string. That stays at G. So D, G, and then B, that stays the same. Drop D. It's not exact. Um, bands like Zeppelin, uh, I'm trying to think of some other bands, Definitely Zeppelin. They use this tuning a lot. There's like, you know. I'm not really playing it exactly the way it is. Um, but, you know, there's there's that song that they have. Um, it's not going to California, but uh, um, it's, it's like one of their songs that they have where they have an intro of an acoustic. Um, They've got this beautiful open tuning sound, right? And it's working really well with this A minor shape, okay? Without thinking too much of exactly what tuning you're in, because your, your shapes are gonna be all crazy now. They're not gonna be the same anymore. It's best to just experiment. I just tell people, try, try to approach it with a blank palette, you know, this open. Um, this really like can change your songwriting in so many great ways. Um, and you have to have just trust yourself. You can literally put your fingers wherever you want. Okay, if that doesn't sound good, adjust it. Ah, that doesn't sound too bad. Because you have now changed the entire tuning of the guitar. And I want you to think more just open-minded and not necessarily within the structure of playing a certain shape, you know? That sounds good too. A couple of little blemishes in there that didn't sound very good, but that's part of the process. Um, I think it's best to not try and figure out right now what exactly what chord you're playing. If you're not sure you're going to remember what you're going to play, you know, what you're playing, if you like it, you should then videotape yourself, okay? Videotape yourself, videotape the shape. You can later figure out exactly what the notes are that you're playing and therefore you could then figure out what the name of the chord is you're actually playing. But when you do these open tunings and you're composing, for example, you should just don't think in strict terms of, oh, I must make a C shape. It's not gonna sound good, see? It's not gonna sound, it's not gonna sound good. So don't think that way. Just think, oh, I'll put my finger here. Ah, one finger. Cool. Experiment. You 
must experiment. And I think there's nothing like alternate tunings to help you open your mind to a whole other realm of guitar playing, um, uh, really a whole other realm of composing. And people like, uh, I, I was going to say, <clears throat> yeah, earlier I said uh, Led Zeppelin, but I forgot to mention Joni Mitchell. She would literally make up her own open tunings, you know, and, and you can do that. You can tune your strings to whatever you want. If it sounds good to you and it's something you'd like to compose and make up on your own, you should do it. All right. So that's my lesson on alternate tunings. Explore, expand, trust yourself, experiment, and enjoy the process of it all. You never know what you're going to end up with. See you at the next lesson.